You may now begin your presentation. Did you know that a key factor on whether a student pursues a post-secondary education is in their ability to afford it? The Canadian Student Loan Program projects that student financial need will continue to rise, meaning that the amount of student loans required to pay for post-secondary education will continue to increase. Stats Canada also predicts that student tuition fees will rise at an average annual rate of 2.5% on top of already rising inflation rates. With these facts, Enactus PCIT discovered a need to better prepare young Canadians with the proper knowledge and training. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Maisie Kuhn, and I'm a second-year financial management student specializing in accounting. And my name is Arnold Han. I'm a first-year financial management student in the accounting program. And today on Tech, we have Nolan Kuhne and Darren Ng, both accounting students from the British Columbia Institute of Technology. And together, we, we are Enactus PCIT. Relationship, innovation, success, empowerment. These are the ingredients that Enactus PCIT used to form our newly developed project, RISE, which aims to educate youth across the Lower Mainland through mentorships, workshops, and community events throughout the year. Last year, a struggling student named Lisa reached out to Enactus PCIT asking for our help. <coughs> Lisa was just finishing her grade 11 year, or she desperately needed to find herself her first job that would help her save enough money for post-secondary. After working with Lisa, we helped put together a professional resume and cover letter that ultimately landed her first job. However, that was not enough. She did not have any financial literacy skills involving the recognitions of deductions and taxes on her base stuff. She also did not have any basic knowledge on how to budget her money to make the most of her earnings. A month later, we worked together with Lisa to educate her on managing her finances by creating an effective budgeting plan that achieved a minimum savings of 20% each month. Lisa opened up a tax-free savings account and made total contributions of $5,000 in 2015 and $450 at the beginning of this year. This is enough to pay for Lisa's first year tuition fee at PCIT, where she will be attending in September from Diploma in Medical Radiography. And this is what Lisa has to say. In Actus BCIT taught me the skills I knew I needed to know in order to take the next step. In the future, I hope students like me will have the same opportunity as it is something that I'll never forget. In Actus BCIT saw this as a shortcoming in the BC education system and decided to take action. We surveyed over 300 students to determine if other students like Lisa were facing the same problems. 84% of our surveyed students felt that they were not learning enough of financial literacy, business etiquette, and leadership skills in their high school education. With our passion to lead and empower others, we <coughs> took up ourselves to guide today's youth to success and prosperity. To do this, we partnered up with the Frog Hollow Neighborhood House and worked closely with 70 students participating in their base program. We organized a series of weekly workshops that focused on the following topics. Business communications, financial literacy, self-presentation, and career pathways. And this is what some of the students had to say. At the workshop, I learned a lot more about the financial, the financial aspect of growing up um, and budgeting as well. And also um, a lot of like, really valuable um, interview and job skills that I'm going to have to have in the future. Base participants are now developing their own programs based off the topics that they learned from our next team. They're currently implementing their plan to over 200 elementary school students transitioning into their high school programs. This inspired us to continue on with our RISE project by partnering up with the Burnaby Neighborhood House. With this partnership, we organized a one-day youth leadership conference called RISE to the Top. We brought together over 50 youths to work together with our NATS team. Along with the four workshop topics, our team shared their most personal stories about failures, struggles, and successes inspiring these students to overcome their challenges knowing that they are not alone. In just six months, 30 members contributed over 5,000 action hours to develop a project committed to making a deep impact in our community by discovering a need for change in our education system and growing solutions that use the professional skills and knowledge that we learn in class and applying them to real world situations. And succeeding by empowering over 300 students to rise above the challenge and face any difficulties along the way. Discover. Grow. Succeed. We, we are not this BCIT.
that's the period for the judges. Only judges may ask questions. Great presentation. You need to resolve failure. Failure is inevitable. How do you deal with students that go through don't actually succeed in the program? Can we cope with them and help them get over that? Yeah, so um, we continue to work with, we liaise through our the neighborhood houses that we partner with. And so if there are any students that are struggling, we've left the open lines of communication so that they can reach out to any one of our next members that they work with. We're more than happy to help them. Thank you very much. Uh, could you please just talk a little bit about the, the metric on number of youth staying in school, 120? Yes, um, so with uh, all the youth that we worked with through our workshop and our conference, we had a total number of students that we worked with, which is 120. Um, they are still currently in high school at the moment, so they'll be still be staying in school in the next year. For the youth that you work with at risk youth? Uh, some of them are. We didn't limit ourselves only to at risk youth because we didn't want to limit the education potential for all youth. Uh, so who develops the curriculum for these workshops? How do you yeah, so it's the project managers that work um, with a team of 40 students um, who are actively in um, planning the workshops. Then we certify them through um, the different um, different professors we have on campus who have been in the industry for years and have returned to BCIT to teach as a profession. Um, and through that certification, um, we get that kind of certified to make sure that they're top quality workshops. So the uh, neighborhood houses that we partner, yeah, the neighborhood houses that we've been partnering with has allowed us to scale very quickly because that's where all the youth are centralized, and it allows us to skip the red tape of dealing with uh, educational systems. So we're we're going where the communities are gathering, and therefore we're able to increase the amount of number of youth that we're able to help. Does that answer your question? Judges, any more questions? Okay. Please join me in thanking the, the, the artist team from British Columbia Institute of Technology.